The Tall Man is a half-hour American Western television series about Sheriff Pat Garrett and the gunfighter Billy the Kid that aired 75 episodes on NBC from 1960 to 1962, filmed by Review Productions. It was also theatrically released and dubbed in North Korea in the 1960s. Synopsis the Tall Man stars 6 feet 3 inches Barry Sullivan as Sheriff Pat Garrett and CLU Gulager as Billy the Kid. Gulager was 32 in 1960, 11 years older than Billy the Kid was at the time of his death in 1881 at the age of 21. The highly fictionalized series provides a more humane image of the kid than has history itself. In real life Garrett eventually shot Billy dead in a nighttime ambush at a farmhouse in Fort Sumner, New Mexico, but no concluding episode depicting the grim conclusion was filmed. Set in and about Lincoln, New Mexico, the series opens with a view of the extremely long shadow cast by Sullivan on a western street. Hence the name, The Tall Man. In the premiere episode, Garrett and the Kid, Garrett arrives in Lincoln, depicted in the series as a gold mining boom town, as the new deputy sheriff, only to learn that a crooked saloon owner, Paul Mason, dominates the community, including the marshal, Dave Leggett. When he sees his power threatened, Mason tries to hire Billy to kill Garrett, unaware that the two were then on friendly terms. Vaughn Taylor is cast in this episode as Judge Riley, and King Donovan appears as a Mason henchman. Mariana Hill was cast in several episodes as one of Billy's girlfriends, Rita. In one episode, Robert Lansing played the frontier dentist, gambler, and gunfighter John H. Doc Holliday. Selected Episodes Andy Clyde was cast in five episodes as Pa McBeam. Judy Nugent plays McBean's daughter, June. Different actress were cast as the other daughter, May. Olive Sturgis played the part of May in McBean Rides Again, The Reluctant Bridegroom, and Millionaire McBean in The Reluctant Bridegroom. Ellen Corby is featured as Hannah Blossom, a potential mail-order bride, for Pa McBeam. Hannah is lured to Lincoln through a fraudulent letter written by the McBeam daughters. In Substitute Sheriff, the McBeam daughters enlist their father as an acting sheriff in a scheme to thwart the seizure of their property for right-of-way by the railroad. Bob Hastings appears in this episode as J.S. Chase. Andy Clyde also appeared at the time in the role of the neighboring farmer George McMichael on ABC's The Real McCoys, starring Walter Brennan. In The Reverse Blade, Murray Matheson portrays Billy's employer, John Tundall, though the name of the historical person is John Tunstall. Tundall grows indignant where the con man Ben Webster, who stole his wife and $10,000 eight years earlier, arrives in Lincoln. Jean Cooper plays Tundall's former wife, now Mrs. Elmira Webster. John Tunstall died at 24, but Matheson was 49 when he assumed the role as Billy's employer. Two episodes focus on visits to Lincoln by Governor Lou Wallace of the New Mexico Territory. In The Great Western, Frank Ferguson plays Wallace in a story about Big Mama Sita, the owner of a rowdy cantina outside Lincoln and her grandson, who is a Wallace aide. In The Black Robe, Robert Burton plays Governor Wallace. In the storyline, after the fall of Emperor Maximilian, a French foreign agent is supplying arms to the Mescalero Apaches in a murky plot to reoccupy Mexico. Chief Yao Lachi is cast as the Great Chief, Slim Pickens as Star, and Martin Landau as Father Gaskeem, a Roman Catholic priest. In The Cloudbusters, Frank DeCova plays Mike Gray Eagle, who sells water to Lincoln residents at inflated prices during a drought, during which the only flowing stream is on the Apache Reservation. In Death or Taxes, Garrett rides into a railroad company town that abuses its workers, runs illegal gambling halls, and refuses to pay its taxes. Character actor Will Wright plays Mayor Hackett in this episode, which features James C. as Holman. In Apache Daughter, Pat O'Malley portrays Sam Bartlett, whose daughter, Sally, is released from Apache captivity after nine years. 
However, Sally wants to return to her husband, Talano, a Chiricahua warrior. In Shadow of the Past, Charles Aidman is cast as Ben Wiley, the father of Billy's newest girlfriend, Sue Wiley. Sheriff Garrett recognizes Wiley as an informant who stopped Garrett from escaping from a Confederate prison during the American Civil War. Nancy Davis Reagan appears in this episode as Ben's wife, Sarah. In The Girl from Paradise, Billy is framed for murder by his old nemesis, Rafe Tollinger, the sheriff of a neighboring county. He is sent to the gallows along with Anne Drake, a pretty young woman who is also framed for murder. The two are handcuffed together but manage to escape and then must flee from an approaching posse. In Saint Louis Woman, Jan Clayton, formerly of CBS's Lassie, portrays Janet Harper, a widow engaged to marry Tom Davis, a longtime friend of Sheriff Garrett. While Tom is away from Lincoln on a cattle drive, Janet begins to show a romantic interest in Garrett. Roger Mobley appears in this episode as David Harper, Janet's young son. In The Hunt, a wealthy young man, Edward Van Doren hires Billy to guide him into the wilderness to kill a mountain lion. However, Van Dorn's real target is Billy himself. This episode presents details about the Colt Model 1877-41 caliber, the gun used by Billy the Kid. In Three for All, Irene Tedro portrays the fiery Moore Kilgore, who breaks her sons out of the Lincoln Jail, where they are being held for having vandalized a saloon. The Kilgores then place Garrett in his own cell while they go on a crime spree. George Kennedy plays Hiram Kilgore. In Trial by Fury, Billy receives a letter from a prospector, Johnny Red, informing him of the potential discovery of a lost Spanish mine near San Miguel, a ghost town in southern New Mexico. James Griffith is cast in this episode as James Cutter and Robert M. Hart as Judge Oliver Cromwell. In The Frame, Harry Towns is cast as Henry Stewart. Diagnosed with a fatal illness and jealous of his wife's former association with Sheriff Garrett, while mentally unbalanced from his illness, Stuart plots his own suicide and plans to frame in his wife, Isabel, for murder. In The Runaway Groom, the Tugwell brothers seek the husband of their sister, Sally, who deserted his wife right after the marriage a year earlier. They believe Billy the Kid is the missing husband and father of Sally's baby, rather than Charlie Fox. Ed Nelson, prior to Peyton Place, was cast as a talented but arrogant young physician, Wade Parsons, in the 1962 episode, Doctor on Horseback. Dr. Parsons, who has assumed the practice of a beloved doctor who retired, must attempt to save the life of a young pregnant woman after she attempts suicide when her husband deserts her. In the series finale, Phoebe, George McCready portrays Cyrus Canfield, a vengeful father searching for his runaway teenage daughter, played by Floyd Dean. When Canfield sees Billy with a necklace owned by Phoebe, he suspects that the young gunfighter may have killed his daughter. Billy, however, explains that Phoebe gave him the necklace as a gift after he rescued her in a rock slide. Other guest stars in addition to the aforementioned, other actors appearing on The Tall Man in individual episodes include DVD releases. On October 30, 2007, Timeless Media Group released 15 episodes of the series on a Region 1-3 DVD set in the United States. On December 6, 2011, Timeless Media Group released The Tall Man, the complete TV series on DVD in Region 1 for the very first time.